everybody. Welcome, family, if you are up. This is the day, truly, that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Guys, if you are viewing this, welcome into our family. This is Lynn's Kitchen. We're, uh, this is a cooking channel, but I'm going through some things, as I have said. If you're viewing this and you are new, um, we are taking a, a journey with me on Lynn's Kitchen uh, through my vertical. I have vertical, and so so many things have come up. You well, should uh, young view some of the um, some of the videos that I already have out as as we take this journey. Well, I'm finally back on track, and today is the day that I'm going for my MRI in my ear, and we're leaving the house right now. I hope everybody's doing fine. And before I forget, any of you who are viewing, please, we would love for you to subscribe and hit that like bell, I mean button, hit the thumbs up rather. And um, yeah, um, we, we like your comments, always a uh, pleasure um, in the comments. Uh, also, hit that notification bell so that you can see upcoming videos. So I said I was gonna take my family, my beautiful family, and I want to say to those who have reached out to me, you don't know how much it's helped my heart. Um, I'm sorry, I gotta keep closing my eyes because when we're driving, I, I, one of the things with vertical is you, you spin. It's a spinning sensation, or either it's just like, it's just like you're, you're, like you, you're on a cloud, I guess, but. Um, when I'm driving, it affects me even more. So, closing my eyes off and on, I'm finding out it makes me feel a little bit better. But I don't stop the spinning, it just helps a little bit. So I, I'm sorry, excuse that, but I had to do what's gonna be comfortable for me. But anyway, um, thank you for joining me and thank you for those comments. I just, my heart was overwhelmed. Um, and my rider dies. I thank y'all so much. I love you all so much. And I appreciate you um, going on this journey with me. And if you are new, come along and join us. Be a part of the family. I would love to have you. Um, the more the merrier. Um, but we are on our way. Um, as I said, this journey through vertical has really been, it's really been something for me. And so I just wanted to share it because you are family. And I felt that you deserved to know why I was missing in action. And um, that's why I was. Um, and, uh, again, so we're not far from where we have to go. Thank God. We don't have to go way across town. We're going to do it on, on our side of town. And so how have I been feeling? Still um, really, really lightheaded. And I notice I'm a little bit better when you know if I'm just sitting down or sitting still. It's when I when I get up to move around, it is it, it gets a little worse. And so we're gonna find out through this uh, MRI. Um, they're gonna find out what's going on through the MRI. Once they once they check my ear. Sorry, short turn, y'all. Um, after I take the MRI, then I have a schedule. Uh, they'll schedule me from there to the neurologist. And I don't know exactly when. So when this is over with, then they will call me and let me know when I'm scheduled. It could, it could be tomorrow or it could be next week or it's whenever they schedule me. Mm. Sorry, I'm spinning it. Really spinning, guys. It could be. Um, tomorrow whenever they get me in so and then we'll go from there from the neurologist uh, and like I said um, I'm sharing this with you because this was new for me um, I've had it before and we thought everything was okay and then it just automatically came back and so we have been through the vertical I am um, I am recovering from COVID because 
and I had to, you know, for those of you who saw the video and I told you on the last one, I had to cancel this appointment because I had the COVID. So we are, are negative, and, I, and they probably will give me another a COVID test, you know, because they do know that I had it. Although it's negative, I don't mind if they, um, if they examine it again. I just don't like, you know, the way they do it, you know, up the nose. I'd rather for them to do it in the mouth. But however I have to take it is good precaution. And um, like I said, dealing with this has really been a journey for me. And the reason I'm sharing this um, with my viewers, my, my loving family, um, is because, you know, like I said, some of us, we all go through some things. And, and sometimes it's all right to share some things. And because you guys are so, so faithful and tuning in to my channel and you have encouraged me because it's been a hard journey. Um, I'm, I'm still struggling even with the channel. But the thing about it is, is it's good to know that there's other people out there that care and other people out there that, that are, you know, um, that are concerned about, you know, um, me as a YouTuber. And I'm really grateful, you know, family and friends have reached out. They're continuing to check on me. Um, I want you guys to keep my husband lifted up in prayer because he is my caregiver. And um, he's doing a marvelous job. He's doing as good as he can do and praise God for him. Um, but this journey has been, it's been a journey. It's been, it's, it's just something new um, that I never thought I would experience. But you know what? In life, we experience things <laughs> more than once. And so, um This journey has really made me love God even more, love myself more. It is even it is even had me thinking more about other people. I always think about other people, but I'm, I'm at an even deeper level with thinking about other people and the journeys that they go through when when they're ill, you know. Um, and so you coming along with me is like a comfort to me also and i that's why i say i really appreciate you and thank you you know for uh coming along with me and i want to keep you updated because i feel that you deserve the, the update and so i don't know really what to expect um when i get here oh, do i need to get here i'm sorry i don't know what to really expect uh once i get here i'm just going i'm going with the flow y'all that's what I'm doing. I'm going with the flow uh, so that um, we can find out exactly what's going on in my ear. Um, I have had some um, irritation on that side, um, like more like little like stinging pinches. Um, they don't last long, but when they're there, they're there. And so... Um, and then it say like so a lot of times when I when I swallow, it's like when you're on an airplane, you know how your ears get plugged and then they unplug. I'm going through that, which is very irritating. Um, but I guess that that's part of it, and there's nothing that I can do. That's why I thank God for for medical medicine for our doctors. Um, he he has equipped us in a way that is so profound you know um our provider and so i know in some countries they don't have what we have and in some countries they have better than what we have but i thank god just just to be able to be blessed you know um with the different specialists that that i'm able to um you know come in contact with you know because this thing is serious um it's just not like a like a little flu or anything is dangerous effects that can happen having vertical and it all depends on on the type of vertical um, that you have there's different types that you can have and I, and I know they say that when you're as you get into your 60s and older you frequently you you know use possibility that 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 happens to it happens to to many people you know and like I said 
before this, I, I, I can remember people talking about people having a dizziness or, or uh, not being able to balance themselves, but I never knew what the, the term of it was for. And this is what it is, it's vertical. You are off balance in everything. And so I've not been able to go in and cook a full course meal I've not been able to sweep my floors or any of that that stuff because you are off balance and it's a dangerous situation, um, especially when you get like up, you know, in your your, your older age, like you know your 60s and you know your 70s and beyond that. Um, the most thing that they're concerned about with you being unbalanced is if you fall because you know most people they have osteoporosis and I I'm diagnosed with that too y'all like I said I have a lot of underlined um, medical things happening with me physically and um, you know they're concerned with that unbalancing that you could you could really fall and, and break a bone or, or something like that and so I haven't done any of that um, you know but still with with the vertical you, you never can tell you can get up and you know you can lose your balance and boom so I am walking around still with my cane for uh, extra um, balance for me. And, um, you know, I'm just going through the motions. There's nothing else I can do. And I'm being, I'm really studying up on this. And I'm on here because I want to be able to help somebody else that may be going through this. And they're going through it alone. Um, or or they, they're too... Again, guys, we, we got to come up out of that, you know, what goes on. Some things you should share, you know. Is it this? Yes, I think so. Share because um, it, it can help others, you know. And that's why I'm sharing because I, I want to be able to help others. Uh, you may not have vertical, but maybe something else is going on. And it's okay to reach out to people for the encouragement and for the support. Um, cause it makes the journey a lot, a lot easier. So is we're it, coming up. Is it in here? Um, is it Christus? Yeah. It, okay, let me make sure. Um, we're coming up. I think we're at the, the building. Um, but, um, I just wanted to share us because, you know, sometimes it takes longer for you to go through that journey by yourself. Okay, here's one. It's getting a mess. It'll check it out for y'all. Uh, it takes a lot longer when you are by yourself. Uh, and so, you know, sharing is okay. You never can tell who you can help, and that's why um, I'm doing this. So we are here at the facility, and, and um, at the other facilities, we were not allowed to tape on the inside, and I think that's for privacy, and I understand that. I think if you're going through maternity or something like that, it's a little bit easier uh, for you to tape, but this is a different type of medical, and so for privacy's sake and other people, we can't really tape on the inside. So, but I'll keep you, um, updated like after we come out you know the procedure of what they did to me and where my next journey will be after this so y'all hang in there with me and i will be back okay yeah. <laughs> you get it oh i was gonna be thank you <laughs> Oh. It'll open. <laughs> oh, it opens on its own. Yeah. Technology <laughs> came in great. <laughs> 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 you can stay safe.
registering and in the back, they were able to do lab or labs on me. So they were able to draw blood. Um, and I'm understanding now, since I've been going through a lot of medical things that for different, for different types of blood tests, they use different types of needles. And the one needle that they used on me was a butterfly needle um, to draw my blood the first time. That was the first stick. And when, so when they were going to, to do what they had to do uh, for the contrast part of um, this, my veins were just too small. And every time, and I got three areas my on both arms and my my lower um, wrists, they were trying to get those needles in, but the needles were not fitting. They were popped back out. So um, that's what took the procedure a little bit longer. They just couldn't do the contrast part because my veins are so small, the needle would not even the needle wouldn't stay in. It kept popping out. So uh, all that poking stuff and then being underneath there for the length of time that I was I I am exhausted and so we're on our way home now and I'm going home and maybe try to get something in my system and I'm going to rest and then I'm going to come back on this will be part two where I can think more clearly and let you know a little bit more information so tune in with me you guys thank you for coming along with me today um and again you know um stay tuned for part two so i'll see you later okay bye bye we are back uh to give you the last episode of my visit uh to the doctor's day and if you are tuning in again uh New viewers, uh, new viewers, um, come on and ride with me and the family uh, here at Lynn's Kitchen. Um, this is uh, uh, the extending of the update that I've given you coming home. I did come home today and I did get my lunch and I did get me some rest and so now I'm back. And um, yeah, if, if there are anybody tuning in again, this is Lynn's Kitchen. And if you're coming to this channel, we welcome you. Come and part, be a part of this family by subscribing and hitting that like button. And also, um, we want this video to be shared and we, we welcome your comments. And also for notifications, hit that, hit that blue bell. Okay, so you'll be updated on things that are going on in the men's kitchen. Um, for you have you who are just joining us, uh, we're on a, a a journey with me having uh, vertical. Uh, as I have mentioned, I've been dealing with it <sighs> since October um, since uh, October of uh, 21. Now it I had it, it came and it left. And then it came back uh, Christmas Eve of 21. And I've been dealing with it since then. And we've been going on a journey with my doctors. And uh, if you're interested, you can go back and look at the previous um, videos to get you caught up on what's been going on uh, and everything. And so we went this morning, uh, finally went to my um, doctor, as I said earlier. Um, we registered at 10 and we got back there about eh, a, little, a little after about 11, 11.30. Um, you'll see previously my little dress that they had me uh, wearing. But as I told you, when we were leaving, um, we, we took the MRI and my doctor had ordered the MIR contrast. Um, I didn't think he was gonna, I didn't know, I knew he was gonna do the MRI but uh, to check further into my ear, but I did not, uh, I did not, I wasn't prepared for the contrast. I don't know why I wasn't, but 
Um, I've been doing everything I can, as I said, following the instructions and everything. So today, um, I had to get blood drawn. You'll see that on the video. Um, but there are parts of it that you can't see only because of they were saying it's, it's, it's personal and private. So I understood that. Um, the things I experienced when I was back there, um, it's very, very cold back there. If anybody who's ever had an MRI or even a CAT scan, just going, um, hospital itself is cold anyway, but those rooms are really cold. And so, um, they, um, prepped me and, um, we got back there and was put on the table. You know, you have to be really still. Um, I think the most irritating thing about having an MRI is that the noise, you know, that pounding that that machine does, and it has to do that. And I don't care what anybody says, they can stuff your ears and they can put all of this stuff around you, but that pounding, you still hear it. And I think it's to help balance, uh, balance all of what you could hear if they didn't have, you know, they, they didn't pack your ears or whatever they do. Um, and you're like in your own little cocoon. The one I did, it, it wasn't round, it was the long one. So of course I had to go all the way back up in there. Um, it was supposed to take six, she said about 16 minutes to do it. But okay, you know me, I always have to have some extra so uh it took a little bit longer as i was explaining earlier um they they had to do the contrast part of it in which um uh, that part i wanted to explain it, i mean i know there's some of you that are familiar with that you do but then like i said i'm coming on this journey because there may be somebody who who is going through this or may go through this and i just wanted to share you know, um, this vertical journey with you, you know, because I've never had to go through this and it's new to me. And, um, yes, I'm still doing levels of spinning, but I can tell you that it is whimpering down a little bit, but I still have to have my trusty here because there, there's, you know, I'm fine when I'm sitting down I do get up slowly, but still the walking part when you when you gotta walk, that's when the vertical, you know, my balance is still off. It's off enough where I, if I put this down, I could have an accident. So I keep I keep William with me. I call him William because this was my daddy's cane. For some of you who don't know, and it has been an amazing help for me. And so getting back to the situation at hand we did register and did all that this morning and when we got ready to do this part of the mri well we know what you know mris there there uh it's like a, a magnetic uh renaissance imaging it's an imaging type of machine now it it, it clarifies more of what the doctors can see than a ct scan because i've already been through the CT scan also. I took the CT scan and um, now we did this MRI because they wanted to check closer in my ear to see what's going on. So basically it uses uh, powerful magnetic and radio waves and um, to create a detailed image of your, of your uh, interior of your body. So I may not be seeing that right but it's, it has to do with your internal, the internal things with you. So what it says is it can be done, a doctor can order it, it can be done with or without, it all depends on what's going on with you and what your doctor is ordering. And so my doctor ordered, um, he ordered the contrast part of it, which means um, on that part, um, it's a type of dye that they inject, that they inject uh, in, intravenously um, and they can do it either before the procedure or they can do it do it during the procedure and mine's happen to be done during the procedure but the problem in mine being done 
which it couldn't be done, was um, my veins. Now they were able to, they were able to get blood because my lab, I had to take, I had to get blood taken. But when it came to them, um, you know, doing, doing the contracts on me to inject, you know, uh, my veins just were too small. Um, I got poked here and it's, it started to do something, but then it just, <laughs> it stopped, you know, but I guess, I guess, I don't know if the needles pushed out, but this side, um, the vein was just too small. So then they took this arm. This arm got beat up more than any arm. I don't know if you can see it, but all through there is out, it's sore, but it's blue and black. So over here, I got, I got the, the I got the blood taken out. But here and here and there, okay, they tried two more times and it just, it just, it wouldn't go in. So then they decide to do up in here. I got shot there. Guess what? The needle, it just, they couldn't do it. My veins were too small to even accept the needle. So that part of, that part of um, the contrast, it, it didn't do. And so, um, I truly was upset about that. It wasn't. It wasn't the doctor's fault. It's, I've always had small um, veins, and anytime they, anytime I've ever went to the hospital, you know, even for just doing the labs, sometimes they have to poke me. Yeah, they have to. Some places have had to poke. You know, get three different places before they could get. Um, you know, draw the blood, and now there are some places now that I go. They, they do it and, 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 and it's fine. They, they know how to, you know, but it's, it's all about my veins and my veins just would not cooperate. They're too tiny. So, you know, I feel that part of it, but the doctor can determine with or without it. So I have a disc that now I'm uh, waiting on. Uh, my next move would be um, um, the neurologist. So I have, you know, um, I have, I guess the pictures of what they did today with the MRI, that goes to them now, but I have to wait until they set up an appointment. Don't know yet um, what my doctor is going to do because they're going to contact him, but I will, I will reiterate and contact him tomorrow morning myself to let them know, you know, what happened. Um, just to make sure, you know, they, they got the message um, and see where they're gonna go from there. Um, but I was just very interested because I, you know, when I had my stroke uh, in 99, I was just telling my husband, that she asked me if I had ever had the contrast and I thought, no, it was, it, was, it had been so long. And so I have went through so much with my stroke and I had tubes running everywhere, you know, drop drips and everything just all over the place. And then I really sat down and thought about it today and I was like, they did do that to me because I had a CAT scan when I had my, my stroke and then I had an MRI. And I do remember they had connected, but I had so many tubes in me, I had forgot, but they did they did do that. They did do a contrast because when the MRI came out, what that does, and I didn't know it, um, what it does is that dye shows up and it, it clarifies, uh, it shows up and it, 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 it clarifies in the, M, the MR, MRI. And what does it say? It says it's like a, it's like a, um, uh, it shows up like it illuminates within your body and it shows the different areas. They, they can see where, more clarifying to see where tumors or even viruses are. So that MRI can see better, but they needed the, the dye. The dye helps that 
that contrast helps helps them see better because like again I'm, I'm, I'm not, maybe not saying it right but it illuminates the areas where, where they need to see the, where the problem is the abnormal problems are uh, in there so that's what I had done today and I guess my doctor will let me know a little bit more about about that um, but we did do that procedure and I was I was you know really thinking that oh this this will be okay you know when she said that I thought mm, you know I didn't know that part of it but um, I'm still hopeful um, and we've got that part done I, like I said I will call tomorrow and find you know and let my doctor know what was going on or follow up myself because this is my body and I want to make sure that you know I'm doing the right thing for my for my body and I'm going to call and ask questions about it I'm going to ask you know do you really need me to have the contrast or is this is this going to stop you know anything from going forth will I have to go back I don't I don't know um but I'm prepared for whatever you know has to come next um and I'm like again my faith is in God um and I have been able to communicate with which with some of you all that have commented and I thank you so much I love you guys so much thank you um I'm encouraged because you're riding along with me in this and so like I said I I love you enough to share this with you um, maybe many people wouldn't do it. This is personal. I, I don't have to share it, but it's personal. And I feel that, you know, for me, um, I wanted you to know what, what's, what's going on. Because again, like we have so many things going on sometime in our lives. And sometimes we, we don't want people to know because we don't want people to look at us differently. Um, I'm not going here um, screaming for anybody's pity because I don't feel sorry for myself. My body has, has been through a lot of things, you know, throughout the years. And I never want anybody to feel sorry for me. I want you to encourage me and, you know, come along with me and be encouraged too. So if anybody is out there, I will say this again feeling like you're alone and you can't tell anybody what's going on with you and you're trying to suffer this thing out, you know, wear it out by yourself, you're putting a lot of pressure on yourself. Uh, stress makes things worse. And if you can talk about it, you might feel better about it. And if someone is out there that can talk to you because they've been through the same situation or they're going through that situation right along with you, that's a helping hand to you. You know, it takes a lot of pressure off. Um, and that's what it's doing for me. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not worried um, because things will happen to all of us. But I'm on you to try to encourage, I don't care what you're going through. I'm on you to encourage you, to tell you that it's going to be okay. Some things that we suffer, it, it doesn't feel good. We don't understand sometimes. We ask the question, why me? Um, and then, yeah, sometimes, you know, we have these pity parties where we hang on, you know, we hang we hang on to things and, and we, 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 we reach out sometimes because we want everybody to feel sorry for us. That's that that mechanism of, oh, woe is me. I don't feel a woe is me, okay? And I understand that sometimes, some of us are on different levels of where we are in life. Some people can't handle it, some people are weaker. That's why I'm on here to tell you that, you know, you don't have to do this by yourself. You don't, you can reach out, you know, some of us are stubborn and sometimes it's the way we have been taught in life. Now, I'm not gonna say that every time something drastic happens to me or, or you know, that I'm going to just spill my whole life out. There are some things that are private 
to me. The things that I need to share with you, I will say I will sh I will share with you, but that will be my choice. Okay, I'm not I'm not going to share down to, to to every strain of hair to the toenail every time something happens to me. But if I think it's important enough, and I think it will encourage and build somebody up, um, then that that's that's when I'll do it. Okay. But understand, there are times where it's okay to, to be private in some things. I'm not saying split everything that ever happens to you. Everybody has to know everything. I'm just saying for me, I'm not on here I trying to belittle anybody, but this is my journey. And I just thought I'd share this part of my journey with you um, because you have been so faithful and so wonderful. You know, you, you know my team, my family. And when you have family, you do you do share. But even in families, there's some things you don't share. And you know, not, not all the time. But I just want to make myself clear. It, it, this coming on here was my choice. But it's also my choice to share what I feel like I need to share. Not everything I want to share. And I, I say that is because... Um, you don't know you don't need to know every insight out about me but when I do share it's because I'm concerned about other people or I'm trying to encourage you know and and build hope you know because sometimes we we, we get into situations and we don't think about hope we don't we don't think about um, the lessons that we can learn in some things that, that, that happen to us or we just we, we we just don't want it to happen, but life again I will say life happens to everybody every day. There's something going on in somebody's life that's very difficult, and you're not alone because everybody struggles in something. We all hurt. We often feel alone. We can feel anxiety. We can feel weary, sourness. We can feel joy. Is, is part of us living and, and growing and, and dying also. You know what I'm saying? So none of us are exempt from things happening in our lives. We just have different days, different levels of what we go through. But I'm, I'm here to tell you that as a, as a woman of God, and I love the Lord, I love the Lord. The things that I have went through in my life, God has blessed me not to look at those things as such a tragedy, but he has blessed me to come through them so that I could be a testimony for somebody else I could share. You know, and I've, I've been around many people that have had strokes. Don't think I didn't ask the question why when I first had mine, but I was, I was, I, I, I was growing in Christ, but I was growing at, at that level. And when I asked the question why, he, he showed me years later why. Because that was part of my testimony is God being good all the time. It was part of my testimony to encourage another person. Because that other person that was going through what I had went through thought that that was the end of her life. She thought that, that she, she just, she was mad and angry at everybody and she just was giving up. And I told her, no matter what your circumstances, do not give up. Because when you go through things, it changes you. And if you allow God in it, he'll show you the change that he can make. Some things we go through, you may not be able to do what you did before whatever happened to you. But if you're still here, that means God has something for you. And it's not all bad. We, we sometimes look at Everything that happens that's not good for us, we look at it as being bad. But I've learned this, not to look at it as being bad. But I've learned to say, God, what are you trying to tell me? Is it something that I should understand? Should I learn something? What am I going to learn in this? I look for him to teach me. Even in the midst of what I'm going through, there's a purpose. He didn't do this to me. 
God doesn't want anybody sick. He doesn't want anybody for hurt and harm. But again, being true to you, evil came in the Eden of God in, in the Garden of Eden. That's where evil began. And we were cursed. And one of the things was we have to suffer in our bodies. Jesus suffered in his. You know, he, he took he took the bulk for everybody. And I'm not saying be Jesus. I'm saying for those of you who believe and those of you who don't understand, there's a way out. You, you can go through what you're going through. Because the, the Bible says we, we're all going to suffer some things. But it's how you look at the suffering. Paul said he had a thorn in his side. But it reminded him it reminded him that thorn always kept him doing right. Because it reminded him no matter how heavy the burden was, Jesus was always with him. Jesus walked with him along the way. He wasn't by himself. He had people around him throughout his ministry that became a blessing as he was a blessing to everybody else. And that's why I will tell you, and we're going to finish this, I will tell you all, that we're here to need one another. And so sometimes sharing helps build up others. It helps them see things a different way. So I like to share. I'm sharing this with you. And I don't have to, but I'm sharing it with you because I know that I'm loved. I know that I'm not by myself. I know that God walks with me every day. And he helps me to endure. I'm telling you, he helps you to endure. Even through the pain that you have to suffer every day when you open your eyes, even in that pain, God is right there with you. He's right there with you. He's not, he's not left you. Okay? And so remember that. Okay? So I'm going to... I'm going to... I'm going to come out of this video... And we're going to wait and see what the doctor says about my situation. But let me tell you this before I go. I'm going to pray for somebody that's out there that, that, I mean, you can be angry about your situation or circumstance all you want to, but I want you to know Jesus really loves you. There's not anything that you can do, even the worst of what can come before you. God loves you more than you'll ever know. And he proved it. So Heavenly Father, as I am before you, I want to thank you, Father God, for those who are viewing this. I pray, oh Lord God, that it would encourage and build someone else up. Lord, I thank you that I am not alone in this, that we are not alone in our sicknesses and our suffering. But God, I lift up your holy name, your holy son's name, Jesus. And I'm believing, Lord God, in the promises that you have put before us. I'm believing, Heavenly Father, that this too shall pass. And I offer, I offer, Lord God, for those who are viewing, the comfort and the peace that you may give, Lord God. I pray that you would grant it upon them. Father God, when someone doesn't understand, help their unbelief. Help their unbelief, Lord God, in any situation that comes before them. Many need comforting right now, and they need that peace that surpasses all understanding. And Heavenly Father, you are the go-to for all of that. And so, Father God, I leave them saying, to God be the glory, the one and only, who can restore, revive, renew. We thank you. We thank you that you are eternal God. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And so, guys, I will be with you again on this journey. I thank you for taking the time out, for being here with Lynn's Kitchen, um, riding with me through this, this vertical. And I thank you, viewers, the new viewers that have seen this. I pray that you would be a part of our family. Come on and join us over here. Like I said, this too shall pass. God has something in store for all of us. And I'm waiting just to see what he has in store for me. I'm very grateful for you for tuning in. My ride or die, 
I love you guys. And we do want more in the family. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. Share this video. Hit that notification bell so that you can be informed about the videos that are coming up. And until I see you again, I love you. And you have a good night. I will talk to you guys later. God bless you. Bye.